The Van Diemen's Land Company, also known as Van Diemen Land Company is a farming corporation in the Australian state of Tasmania. It was founded in 1825 and received a royal charter the same year, and was granted 250,000 acres 1, square kilometers in northwest Van Diemen's Land in 1826. The company was a group of London merchants who planned a wool growing venture to supply the needs of the British textile industry. The company established its headquarters at Circular Head under the management of Edward Kerr, who arrived in Van Diemen's Land in 1826. Much of the initial cargo, stock, and farm labourers arrived in Van Diemen's Land aboard the Tranmere. Some of the settlers refused to adapt to their new surroundings. For instance they did not recognize that in the Southern Hemisphere the seasons were reversed. For many years the costs of farming were only just recovered. By the 1880s the company was making more money from timber felling and timber exports than from farming. The Van Diemen's Land Company introduced bounties on the thylacine Tasmanian tiger from as early as 1830, which was a partial cause of their extinction. The company was the constructor of the early stages of the Emu Bay Railway between 1875 and 1884. The company retains some of the original land grant and is widely believed to be the last Australian chartered company still operating. By the 1970s, the company owned one seventh of its original selection. In July 2014, it was announced the owner of the Van Diemen's Land Company, New Plymouth District Council, through Taranaki Investment Management Limited in New Zealand, was attempting to sell the company. In 2016, it was purchased by Moon Lake Investments, controlled by Lu Zhanfeng, for $280 million.